Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So this is just a little tutorial. Um, uh, I personally in my PC have a AMD A5600K and a 7750 and usually you can crossfire your APU and your graphics card. But when I searched up tutorials everyone just said it wasn't possible and a few people who did get it didn't post tutorials or show how it was done. Um, so what I did is actually just did some configurations in the BIOS and I was able to crossfire them. Uh, this may work with other APUs and other graphics cards. You can follow the tutorial. Uh, nothing should go wrong with your system. Everything should be fine. If you get any errors, post them in the comments down below. I will help you out. Or you can even just PM me. So the most basic way to crossfire is usually going to the AMD Catalyst, which is uh, done by right-clicking and clicking AMD Catalyst. And this will pop up. Go down right here to the side until you see performance, you usually click performance and you look for AMD Radeon Dual Graphics. And this is usually the basic way, this is how people judge if it's possible or not. That's the problem. Uh, by default, my APU and my GPU don't have this option. You have to actually config the BIOS and this may uh, also be true for other APUs and GPUs. So let me show you how you actually uh, give yourself this option. Uh, this is the, actually the, also the reason I'm recording with a camera because you're actually going to need to restart your system and uh, you can't really record your BIOS other than with a camera so that is why I'm using a camera. So I'm going to restart Windows, let it do its thing and when your uh, logo comes up, in my case it would be Asus because I'm using the Asus motherboard. Uh, if you're using any other type of motherboard it, uh, it still will work. It might be a different key for Asus it's delete also the BIOS will look different but you don't have to worry it's all always generally the same So for me I hit delete and it brings my BIOS so this is my BIOS uh, I just noticed the camera angle is a bit weird for the BIOS let me see if I can fix that sorry this is not my highest quality video but it is the best I can do so I have a mouse BIOS you might have to use your keyboard uh, generally it will be the same thing uh, we have to look for advanced mode, which in this case it's down here. Uh, for you guys, it might be somewhere else, but just look for it. Go to advanced mode, and okay. So now we're in advanced mode. Um, for me, the tabs are up here. Again, it might look different for you, but generally you want to go to advanced. You need to look for somewhere that says advanced. And then you, we have to go down here, which is NB configurations. Now, uh, let me just go back a step right here. See how it says NB configurations? On other motherboards, it might say North Bridge configurations because that is what we're configuring. We're configuring the North Bridge on the motherboard. Uh, Asus just uses the uh, short term, which is NB configuration. It also might say North Bridge. Either one, it's the same thing. Anyways, click it. Now you have all this. We're configuring the North Bridge. You need to have the multi monitor enabled like that. You need the uh, primary video device to be. PCIe slash PCI. Okay? Then uh, integrated graphics. Uh, we need it to be force. Because uh, if you have it on auto, it'll automatically disable your APU and only use your uh, dedicated card, so you need it to be forced on. Your UMA frame buffer size should be 1G. Right there, 1G. <clears throat> so I'm going to just pick up the camera, go in. So this is how it should look. Pretty much after you have this done, you're just going to escape, escape. Um, you can save, you make sure you save the uh, settings. I'm going to uh, right here. Yep, I don't have to save because <laughs> I already have the settings. And it'll be loading like that. When you first reboot it, uh, if uh, all this time you had your integrated to auto what's going to happen is it's going to need to install some drivers and stuff so don't panic <laughs> uh, what's, it might even take a bit for me it took about a minute before they actually finished but yeah Windows is gonna boot up and I can't actually show you how it looks like when the driver is installing but it's pretty simple it's like uh, when you plug in a um, like a mouse you know how it comes up like around here in the corner it has a circle thing saying uh, uh, I don't know, like locating device or uh, searching device, one of those things, it will pop up. Just let it do its thing. Uh, your desktop will come up just like usual. And now, 
what's, uh, what this will allow us to do is after you've configured the settings it will allow you to let me just go into the AMD Catalyst control panel and you should see that option now. Sorry, I might take a bit because I just booted up. Oh, another thing to note is if you still don't see that setting, like um, dual graphics, uh, don't worry, it happened to me. All you have to do is actually just restart your system and then your system should recognize it. It's just if it installs the drivers, you need to reboot and then everything reboots properly with the drivers and everything installed and then it should pop up. But uh, so, yeah then go down to performance right there and now you should see this here again if you don't don't worry just restart and AMD should actually pop up with a thing it'll say dual graphics uh, recognized do you want to combine them blah 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 just hit go and it'll bring you straight to here so yeah all you have to do is hit enable AMD Radeon dual graphics hit apply it's gonna do a bunch of weird things just you know setting it up quickly uh, your catalyst might be black it, it always seems to be black for me for a bit and then after it is back you will be able to see APU plus GPU is making one nice beautiful thing so yeah guys really hope you enjoyed this video it was a bit lengthy but uh, if you followed along hopefully this worked for you if you're having any problems <laughs> comment down comment them down below and as always guys, uh, have a great day, please leave a like, and until next time, peace out.